All right, so we're going to talk about sight words. And sight words are words that you can identify by appearance and not necessarily by phonics or sounding them out. So examples would be um, like then or it or the or to. So those are some sight words. And one of the ways to be a proficient reader is to know numerous sight words. And I know a lot of teachers and sometimes parents may use lists or flashcards, but I've never been comfortable with showing a baby or a toddler or even a young kid flashcards. It's not my uh, way of exposure and not my son's type of exposure either. You know, he's more of a kinesthetic learner um, mixed in with some auditory learning and also visual learning. So um, what I would do is that we just, I just exposed him to sight words through play, books, and also digital media. So one thing that we did is we would, would we would record the day with words. So Corey and I, we like to learn things on the spot. So if we see anything intriguing, we might try to make a fun learning experience out of it. Um, so one day he was playing with the magnetic letters on the refrigerator. And I just noticed, you know, he was getting taller, he was getting bigger. So I decided to join him and I put the magnetic letters to say the boy is getting big. And I read it to him and I said, you're the boy, you're getting big. And he got excited and he wanted to create more sentences. So we looked around the room and we saw two balls. So uh, we constructed a sentence with the letters that said, I see two balls. And another sentence that said, we will get the balls in play. So this was the beginning of me teaching him sight words. So in those sentences, you know, get is a sight word, see is a sight word. So it's easier to incorporate sight words and sentences because he wants to know the meaning of those sentences than to have isolated um, flashcards where you know I'm just showing him flashcards that say the or C. You know, it's just isolated. There's they're not being put together with other words to create meaning. So I think that's more of a fun way and practical way for kids to learn sight words. So um we I also would like to put together the um, magnetic letters to ask him to do something or to give him instructions. So I remember one time I put the magnetic letters to say, uh, put the blue cup on the table. And then he would respond to me in short sentences. He just put all done after he did it. And, you know, if he couldn't spell a word within those sentences, you know, I would definitely help him. And then I would try to use that same word that he couldn't spell in the next sentence that I created or the next time, you know, we played that game. So I'm going to show you a video of us creating a sentence and it has some sight words in it. And he was he created it on the table and it's with the magnetic letters. So. Stay tuned for that, and I will see you in the next video. We'll learn about more strategies to expose your child to sight words. See you there. I-D. Okay, let's try to read the sentence. Okay. All right, what's this word? What's this word? The big and dog are big. Yes! The pig and dog 